Hey guys, welcome back to Bumble TV. Guys, today we'll be checking out Bible is self insults God. Wow, guys, I pray I don't find this offensive. I pray God allow me to listen to this with open mind in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, let's get straight into this. Describing God. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 20. He's describing God. He says here, in the same day, the Lord will shave with a hired razor. Lord means God. He's going to shave people with a hired razor. You know, the old-fashioned old cutthroat razors. I don't know whether you see them. Old-fashioned cutthroat razors. He's going to, God is going to shave with a hired razor. With those from beyond the river, with the king of Assyria. The head, shave the head. And the hair of the legs. You know, you have this today, this modern deli pit tree, what you call it. You know, the hair removers. Of course, the Lord didn't know about all that. He's going to shave the head and he's going to shave the hair of the legs. I don't know how high. How high he's going to shave. <laughs> and we'll also remove the beard <laughs> with the razor. Is this the work of God? God does things like that. You speak about God like that? That he's going to shave people's heads and he's going to shave the legs and... <laughs> Two Samuels, chapter 22, verse 9 to 11. Smoke, 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 no smoking here. Smoke went up from his nostrils. Whose nostrils? God's nostrils. Smoke came out of his nose. I'm reading the Bible, the Holy Bible. Smoke came up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth like the dragon. You know, you know how the fire comes out? Like a flamethrower from God's mouth. This is talking about God. Smoke came out of his nose and devouring fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. You know, the, a lump of coals, all the pile of coals starts burning. And all the coals start burning. This is what God does. You know, like a dragon. And coals start burning. He bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under, under, under his feet. He rode upon a cherub. A cherub. You know what's a cherub? There's the scripts little girlish angels there are two grades of angels look up any dictionary cherub c-h-e-r-u-b cherub god almighty is riding a cherub a young girl angel listen to this sir he bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under his feet he rode upon a cherub and flew god is flying on a cherub no helicopters no no plane he's riding little girls and these girls, if you haven't seen one, you must go to the Vatican in Rome. You'll see this beautiful thing, by God. I went there and uh, look, no regrets, no regrets. This is a picture taken, sir, from the Vatican in the holiest of holies of the Roman Catholic Church of Christendom. These things, if the cameras have caught, please don't reproduce this, please. Otherwise, this tape will be banned in every Arab country in the world. Look at this. This is the cherub, picture of the cherub taken in the Holy of Holies in the Vatican. In the Vatican, there are two beautiful young things in marble, flesh-colored marble, so smooth and silky that if you ever touch it, you'll get an electric shock. <laughs> and God writes these, he writes them and flies them around. Uh, I think that guy, the Superman, Superman does a better job, you know. <laughs> Guys, please give me a minute. I need to confirm the verses. Guys, it said, in, in the same day shall the Lord shave with a razor that is hired, namely by them beyond the rivers, by the king of Ashra, the head and the hair of the feet, and it shall also consume the beard. Guys, I feel I need to read the full verse for me to understand what he's saying because you can't just understand a passage by reading a chapter. I can, now you're going to say I'm trying to cover off the Bible of his flaws, but I feel if I read the full verse, I'm going to have a broader understanding about it. And sometimes if a chapter is somehow, when you read the verse, you're going to understand that maybe it's talking about 
But most of the things in the Bible are actually said in parables. And Jesus himself confirmed it when he said, when I come again, I won't speak in parable, but I will speak in plain language. Because Jesus himself, when he was on earth, he was always talking in parables. Parables, parables. So people are trying, people try to understand what he was trying to say. But this verse, guys, and let me check on the other. Let me check on the other verse. Guys, it says, yeah, from verse 10, he bowed. But what he said was correct. It was the same thing in the Bible. I, I, I personally don't see... I know a lot of you are going to come after me, but it was written, so it was written. Smoke comes out from God's nose because it was written. Like, I'm, I'm a kind of person that I don't really challenge things that are sacred. Like, when someone says, I believe this, I believe that, I believe it, I try to see if it makes sense and... If it does make sense for the person, I just kind of accept it. Because I feel the Bible, if if the Bible was like, if the Bible was fake, it could have put in a way that everyone in the world would like. Like, well, it is written because it does not care about your feelings. It people wrote it because they gained inspiration from God and they wrote it. And people who combined the Bible together combined it because they saw it fit. To be there so that is what i'm gonna say but to be honest this verse i'm gonna read it i'm gonna read second summary from verse one till the end and i think in my next video i'll kind of explain to you if it actually does make sense but if it doesn't i will tell you i will i'm being honest there but he didn't actually what's the name the bible is of insults girl but i don't think this insults God from saying smoke comes out from or fire comes out from the nose or something. Because if I feel we shouldn't limit God to our own imagination. We don't know what God looks like and we don't know. We actually know what God looks like because he said he created us in his own image. But like we don't know things he can do. Like I believe God is omnipotent, he's omniscient, he is He's he's just different from everyone. Like he is loving. Like I can say he is our creator. So we can't actually tell what he can do or he can't do. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to okay, I'm trying to protect the Bible or protect my belief and my faith, but that doesn't mean I won't see it logically. Like I'll try my best to read and understand and tell you my honest opinion about it like i won't fake it bro guys i'll see you next time guys best